Hey, this is Chris Broussard with Straight Talk at the Half, talking about Game 5, and this is the best game of the series by far. I think both teams are playing well. Superstars from both teams came to play. Clay Thompson making a case for the MVP of the whole finals with a big game so far. LeBron James is bringing it, answering his critics. Those who criticize him, he's playing a terrific game. So is Kyrie Irving. I think his second half is going to be tremendous. Send me your questions and let's talk. All right, first one, will LeBron pull through and win this? I, I thought coming in that Cleveland would win the game. I don't like it very close though. If it's like a, a, a if it's going to be like this throughout the game, I think the Warriors have the advantage because they're a better fourth quarter team and they're at home. Pull this out. Uh, who's your MVP so far? Well, like I said, I, I think for the Warriors, you know. You could name a number of people. Obviously, Draymond Green was somewhat in the running. Andre Iguodala and Steph Curry entering this game. If Steph, you know, were to go for 30 tonight, he may win the MVP. But Clay's having such a game, great game that I think he is arguably the front runner right now. If they win tonight, remember he had 25 points last game, uh, so he wasn't too far behind Steph. So I think if he keeps it going, he's got what 20 six points if he gets 40 i think clay is going to end up being mvp who do you think uh takes it in the half who who's, who runs away with it or is this, does it stay close i think it's going to stay close i think like i said cleveland uh needs to pull away and get a little bit of distance for them to hold on because i think if it's you know within a point or two down the stretch i think you have to think the warriors have the advantage because they're at home they've got the better shooters and they've been a better team down the stretch than Cleveland has throughout the series and the playoffs. Is Kevin Love a factor? Uh, not really. Uh, he was number two points, two rebounds, zero assists. But he is a for for the analytics freaks. He's a plus six. <laughs> so uh, LeBron James has 25 points and nine rebounds, and he's a negative five. So what's that mean for analytics? But anyway, uh, no, nah, he's not really doing much. They need him to be better. Uh, yeah, obviously, it's a tough matchup for him, and we see that Golden State is playing even maybe smaller at times with Draymond, you know, off the floor. So it's a tough matchup for Kevin Love. But I, you know, defensively, he's been okay, you know, for what he is. He, he hasn't been too bad defensively, um, but he could stand to get a little more uh, involved offensively. But look, Cleveland can't worry about Kevin Love. LeBron and Kyrie are going to carry them. J.R. Smith played pretty well. He had 10 points. He hit some shots. You know, they have to just go out there and play, not worry about let's get Kevin involved, let's get Kevin touches. Just go play the game the way they did in the first half. Tighten it up a little bit defensively because I don't know if they can win, you know, 125, 123. And they're essentially on that type of pace right now with both teams having 61 at the half. Following up on that, should Jefferson maybe get more minutes in the love? Yeah, well, I think it was, let's see, Love plays 17, yeah, Jefferson only plays 7. I, I, I would give Jefferson more minutes. Obviously, he's more athletic, um, you know, and, he, and I think the, they flow better because, again, they don't have to look for Jefferson. They don't have to run plays for Jefferson. They don't have to think about getting him involved because he, he's just not that type of player. So LeBron and Kyrie don't have to worry about that. Um, so I, I think Jefferson's got to see a little bit more time in the second half. What are your thoughts on the battle between uh, Steph and Kyrie? Tremendous. Um, both guys came to play. You know, look, Kyrie, I mean, look, he's been a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, a lot of ISO at times getting Cleveland out of his offense. But you can make a strong argument that he's outplayed Steph at least one-on-one -on -one in this series. Uh, he is a tremendous one-on-one -on -one player. Uh, great handle. Obviously, his jump shot is on. He finished with uh, 18 in the first half. Um, so I think he's he's playing terrifically. He's going to have to keep playing that way if Cleveland's going to have a chance. Last one, who do you think uh, wins this one? Who takes it away a second? You know, like I said, coming in, I, I, I pick Cleveland. And I think LeBron can kind of carry them over the top. But right now, tie game at the half. You know, my gut feeling is if it stays this close, is Golden State's going to pull it out. So there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. This is Chris Broussard from ESPN. Straight talk at the half.